Yeah, really good. Well, and I was explaining, we came round there, and it's also right on the wrong side. Oh, there. yeah. Yeah. And the guy, like, yeah, and I was sort of like going to pull it, well, you can't really do much else, can you? Because no. you can't go through that hole. Anyway, next time I take down, I will tell you. Oh, I should have put the microphone on. What? I should have put the microphone on. What's that? The GoPro. What's that? No. The microphone. Lab mic. Say again? Getting ready. Yeah. Hey Tom. Yeah. Tom Copes. How is it? Yeah. His dad hates cyclists. <laughs> You haven't got GoPro. Uh, uh, what have you called it? Well, you haven't got. You haven't bought it. No, no. Oh, right. See GCN's video the other day. Clipless pedals versus flat pedals. What, like mine? Well, no. They were riding natural flat pedals versus clipless. What do you call flat pedals? Normal pedals. Bike has in oh, right. cheap like flat ones. <laughs> what did you say? Well I don't know, I didn't finish the video, but they were just doing tests. Yeah. But they were actually changing the pedals, unlike you, you just jump on <laughs> yeah. with your clipless pedals using your trainers. Yeah, Hank was eight max sprint was or 10 second sprint 800 watts on trainers, 1200 and something watts. Oh, yeah, 1200 something watts on clipless. Really? So 400 watts different. Are we gonna push on to the top or let them buy here? Probably let them buy. I'm gonna stop them, right? Yeah. FYI. Oh, stingers. Yeah, you know, I read something yesterday about dock leaves. What about them? They don't do anything to stop the pain yeah. of, of nettles because the acid that causes the irritation in stinging nails isn't neutralised by the dock leaf's acid. Right, so what is it then? All that is, is it's just it's cause... Well, yeah, a little bit. It, it, as the dock leaf, as long as it's mashed up, as yeah. it evaporates on the skin, it leaves it a little bit of a cooling yeah. thing. But nothing that nothing so else wouldn't do. You could use like a dock leaf, like for a bee sting or something. Yeah, but and you it could have use as much effect. Yeah. Um, and for a horse fly bite. the fact is, your brain thinks it's the old wives' tale, isn't it? It's yeah. First ride since the sport teeth. Legs are, I'm like bullet talking to the camera. Hi bulleteers. Nice to have you out with me again. Make sure you subscribe, bullet for 1K. I'm gonna chase down coach. I think he just unsubscribed from behind the comm today. <coughs> I lost another one, so maybe he's trying to, he did. I should take hay fever pills. <coughs> he said, uh, he's trying to get, Back to, he's trying to catch me up on behind the comp. I keep telling him, like he's got one. He's gonna hit 
100k before I, for me. Hello, that's uh, Martin Foster. Yeah. Did he know me? Nah, did he know me? I think I think they just knew me. <laughs> but he actually did know you rather than Yeah. He put his hand up. Oh, what does this say? Error. Vania error. Marita huh? error. No, I can't read it. GPS errors. Who? Hey. Is there someone there? People let <laughs> Oh, uh, Paul Butcher? I haven't got help on. Oh. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Oh, such a romantic couple. <laughs> <laughs> this would be like in the Tour de France now. Well, I guess I was not in the Tour de France. Uh, oh yeah, that's the one, that's the reason. <laughs> uh, Can't handle cyclists being claustrophobic in the group. Oh yeah. Might be not being cop. Um, Gary's Gary knows Bruce, <laughs> and he's called. Uh, they called him Moose. Oh, he went out for a ride with Moose the other day. That's Moose. Bruce. Bruce the Moose. So bullet the bullet versus the Moose. But doesn't he go that way to work every day? <laughs> I'm not sure he really knows that he, what he's in for, or even if he knows about local legends. It's just that every time he gets one, no, but it has to go and but it has to go and take it off. I might go in front of you. Are you going? Oh, you look like Mo Farah. What did it look like? A bit fat. What did he say? He was giving you the eye. He's probably going, why have you got a snood on in this weather? Why did you get a snood on in this weather? Thanks to Philip Churchill. Uh, sorry I didn't see you the other week, Philip. I did put your message back on YouTube. I'm not sure if you saw that one. But, um, don't worry, I had a good couple of nights to sleep after the weekend and it was worth doing that weekend of editing and filming because it puts me a week ahead now. I say this now, fast forward to Saturday night, me probably editing the Sportive. Well, you got to pedal backwards. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I've just taught that a little trick.
Hey Siri, remind me tyres noise later on. Yeah, we're good, isn't it? I'm not sure if I'm going to ride it. Well, either way, come and yeah. Lee Baxter's coming down. Yeah, right, pretty much. Yeah, Phil's obviously down for it, I assume. Oh, Piglet's doing it. Oh. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Well, I looked it up, I looked at the screen. It's like the Exmoor Beast. But they do races. Yeah. Huh? No. Are you looking at the right one? Yeah, excellent. Not too unbelievable. Ah, they changed the route from the last time then. Well, Where'd you come down then? Richard. You can go left up there if you want to. Do our research on that one. Maybe. Tell you what, the tyres were good on uh, the Sportive. Went into about sort of when I was in the last five miles, thinking, oh, I've got my uh, cheap tyres on, mate. Didn't stop and notice any. Negativity on. There's some rough potholes. What size type of car is it? Uh, 25s, I think. Or oh, do you mean tyre? Yeah. Not tyres. Yeah. I'll send him two, I think. If he sends me the chocolate review, <laughs> he's going to buy some of those uh, things I bought. Those sweets that Bullet tried in the wreck. Oh, yeah. Wham bar, he loves wham, so he's going to try them as well. Start a sweet shop. <laughs> yeah, oh, could do on Amazon. Look, fantastic. You can ask YouTube if you want. You look really good. Yep. Left shoulder maybe slightly down. Uh, that, yeah. You got a big cobweb hanging off your back. <laughs> There's someone walking. Thanks for all the towing, Nat. Yeah, we're not going very far. Right. No, we're not. not. No PRs tonight. Maybe down from Alicut. So I don't know if you can hear me, commas, but so we're on the way to Alicut Farm, which is Helena's folks' place. And Helena's dad has written a book all about, well, it's not about beekeeping, is it? It's, a, no, it's, it's his memoirs. Um, so it'll be a fantastic read. I can't wait to start it. So we're going to drop off. He's dropped off a signed copy that you might have seen him behind the com. Uh, so we're going off to drop some money up to him. Nat huh? Yeah, Nat forgot to leave it out on Sunday when I was at Sporty. But things we have to do. Things we do to be environmentally friendly. Oh, big tractor.
Where to? Oh yeah, yeah. What I have got to do with these tyres, uh, wheels, so I've got the long valves on, I've got to put some masking tape over the uh, joint. Rattling like anything. Oh, I keep cadence high, that's it. Cav might be going to the tour. Really? Yeah. He's going as a domestic. Yeah. Woods. Huh? Yeah. Dan or Michael? <laughs> Amazing, well done, lovely, well done Natalie. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. We gave us enough room. <laughs> I think we've been up Timberscombe Hill on the uh, channel, have we? I can't remember doing it, me doing it last year. This one? Yeah. Pedal, pedal, pedal. <laughs> some more? 
<laughs> yeah. This is where Digby lives, Adam Harris, if you're watching this. Evening. Who's that? Me. Getting dropped on a bloody hill now. <laughs> Hello, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm out on the bike. No. No, that's right, because I'm going I'm, I'm going out of signal in a sec. How'd it go? No, tell me now, sorry. Oh, <laughs> Bullet trying to get his uh, uh, phone charger to work for about half hour. Yeah. You... <laughs> Yeah, oh, did I? <laughs> you know, I don't realise that until you edit it, yeah. Well, you can drive us around then when we're, when we're film stars. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, is he doing the fight? Oh, yeah, he's doing... Um, is his 500k video up yet? <laughs> you got a proper cyclist talking about it. Yeah, I, yeah. So he did, he did 500 kilometres on um, the weekend. Yeah, yeah, across Wales. We went from the top of Wales to the bottom. That's, that might be up tonight. I've done the thumb now, and it might be up tonight, or if, if not, tomorrow. He's exported it. It's just whether it will up, up, upload in time. So it should be a good one, should be, yeah. They went through some... Well, we, I, tomorrow's behind the com is us talking about the title. Um, it, it, like, yeah, the thumbnail has just got 500k on, and I've done, like, a nice fade from dark to, to light with two, two photos that are night riding and stuff. They rode through the night. So, oh wow, well done, brilliant. Cool. Oh, all right, I better crap. I've got to go to. Um, we're up. We're up Timberskin. We're going to. Yeah, she's she's out with me. She dropped me. Yeah, we go and drop off Julian. You know Julian Wilford. He's got his memoirs out, so um, he dropped a copy round. So I got to drop some money up to him. Yeah, so she's halfway up Timberskin Hill. <laughs> all right, see you later. Bye. Bye. Sorry about that. That was uh, Dad. He's got a little hernia that he's been having checkups on and stuff. So, uh, oh. Mum was in Bridgewater Hospital car park watching behind the com earlier, and he just said he's just been watching Bullet in Coach. Bullet in Coach just wave his car on because it's nasty. <laughs> He's just been watching Bullet and Coach in the car on the way up to, uh, oh, can't be out of gears already, on the car journey up to Cheddar. <laughs> he said, I won't make a professional driver because my one time I had one finger in my ear and one finger on the gear stick. <laughs> so dad used to drive for, I might have said before, but dad used to drive for some film crews. So he's been up to 2,000 acres of sky and uh, a few other films, Famous Five, when they filmed around here, Wycliffe. As I said before, he, he killed someone in a shower in Wycliffe. So, uh, so he's doing unit driving and he drives people around. So he'd have all the gossip, all the gossip on the stars. Cindy from EastEnders, can't remember her name. I think he drove Nick Cotton around once from EastEnders, who's <laughs> used to be one of my nan's crushes. I think that's right, he's in something. Ghost Hunter as well. Oh. So I think he got a signed photo. Mum will be able to put it right there. I think he got a signed photo of that. 
Oh, I can't believe I'm on the canyon, I've run out of gears. So this is a hill I'm gonna show Ed when he comes down for the Everesting. It's not right because there's too much flat in it, but it's a hell of a training ride if he wants to come out and do some training on it. Speaking of training, let's see if I can do a bit of training, shall we? Let's keep it, let's try and keep it 3.30, 3.50 maybe. Too steep for that. Sorry about the click on the bike. Needs a bit of a clean and a grease up. I'm pretty good, I'm pretty pleased my legs. Way the legs feel today after the Sunday ride. I mean, it wasn't the hardest ride I've done, but it felt about 100 miles. I round up to 100 miles from 45 or whatever it was. It's just here, like, I've just stood up for a bit there. I feel like I can't catch my breath. I'll stop talking. Oh. Yeah, I don't think the descent on this one for Ed will be fast enough for an Everesting attempt. We say everything. It's no, it needs to be perfect, doesn't it? Wind, temperature, traffic. Good legs day. Oh, okay. uh, to get a world record. Obviously the British record, I assume it went the other day. Guy tried it on Crokham Hill. I'm liking Countersbury. If we can manage the the bottom, I'm liking Countersbury. I did think about Snowdrop Valley, potentially. We could message about closing the road maybe for six hours. <coughs> Obviously it might cost some money and, and stuff, money we ain't got. Although we have got a few funds in the Fat pedal account now, obviously, due to the training plans. We just got to pay a bit of hosting and stuff like that. So, thank you to everyone doing that. Hopefully, you're enjoying them. I know Ed, every time one comes through, I get a little message from Ed. There's another one. Do you know him? Do you know him? I was like, no, I'm not him, nor do I. Uh, we've got a Facebook hand running. So, that's that. We've got lots of improvements to make to the site as well. We might not have uh, a chat this Friday, but what we'll do, we'll probably slip on in the week, next week, and Ed's still recovering, obviously, but uh, he's got something on on Friday. I've got a hill climb on Friday, so we'll do that. I did think one week, I'll check with Ed, but, or maybe I'll do it on my channel. <laughs> we'll do it, I wanna do a parody one with Bullet a parody training chat, like me and Ed chats. And uh, yeah, that'd be quite fun. Uh, talking about his roundup and Bullet will be the coach, like the Ed character <laughs> and stuff. But, and then the other thing I want to do is Phil. Phil's coming, Phil's coming down for this hardest Exmoor Sportive. 
I'm not sure if I'm going to do it. I've uh, because I've passed my entry on to the next year with the Superior Level Boys. Um, to be honest, at the current fitness, <laughs> I won't be doing it, or so we shall we say health. I won't be doing it, uh, but I want to do it. So um, we'll see. If I can lose a bit of weight, get a bit fitter, get the lung under control a bit more. A couple of times on the weekend, I was thinking I'm in trouble here. Uh, knowing mum and dad were on the course did help me a bit knowing that if I did need picking up it was just the last climb obviously we made a bit of a joke of it on the main channel bullet versus coach on the last climb and I won't ruin it in case this goes out before but I uh, I was going up there and I was thinking oh I had sort of cramp in the lower back sort of stitched slash cramp and it did bring back some, I say cramp slash stitch, I hope that's what it was. But do you know what I mean? It sort of brought back the same feeling of that day with the blood clot stuff, um, which you know, still gives me uh, a few nightmares here and there of that pain. And that's the trouble going up that hill me and Bullet did in that episode for, for when I, before I went to hospital. I still get like, I drove up there with Bullet the other day and I was just like, felt, felt a bit weird, felt a bit sick to be honest. Just knowing what I was like walking up there. <laughs> Stupid stuff, I need to get over that. Um, and I can't have any little niggle or, or anything like that on, the, on a big ride. I don't want that in my head. I don't want to be in a time trial, which I'm doing the 1st of July. It was a club time trial, 1st of July. Um, 10 mile. I don't want to be on that 10 mile, seven miles in, putting in 110%, or maybe seven miles in, I'll be putting in 89%, and thinking, hmm, this doesn't feel great. Just got to get that in my head. And I have been naughty about chasing up follow up consultancy stuff, so I need to do that. I have good days and bad days, like you probably know. Some days I walk up the stairs and I'm out of breath. Some days I can go out for a ride like this and I feel all right. You can see the heart rate and stuff anyway on the power. Oh, I always think we're here now, but not. It's longer than I expect. So you can hear the little rattle, that's the... That's the valves on the wheels. They sort out. Oh yeah, one last little hill. What's it like being 100 kilos? 400 watts at four miles an hour, that's what it feels like.
Oh, I'm just starting to think if I've gone past the turning. Nearly there. Nearly there. So the plan this weekend is, uh, it, obviously the sportive videos come out Sunday. I'll try and edit that overnight. Maybe like Thursday night, Friday night. Finish it off on Saturday. And then go for a ride. I think I... Have I gone too far? I'm so confused. Um, yeah, finished half Saturday and then film this weekend for the following week. So I'm, I'm a week ahead, as I said. Thank you. I'm a week ahead and uh, that's where I want to be, really. There's nothing better than filming and editing, though. Like filming on Saturday morning or Friday then editing for the week Sunday because it's so fresh in your head. You know exactly what the... <sighs> Have I missed the entrance? ridden up this far for so long uh, it might just be up here maybe <laughs> maybe it's because when I used to do this here I was a lot fitter you know what I think I might have I think I might have missed it <laughs> this is great isn't it Come down to Exmoor, I'll be your tour guide. Oh, I should look at the map, maybe. Nah, here it is. Here it is. Don't worry. Check on the signs, see how they're doing. There's a bit of a, uh, yeah, signs are good. Whew.
You all right? What's that? What happened to you? Talking to Dad. Oh. I thought you had a phone call, but I he didn't. He went. I didn't want to. Come. I was worried if it was Albie. Oh no. And you didn't come. I thought, oh shit. Mum. Right, come on then, because of the... Yep. No. <laughs> I, I thought, I thought, oh my God, I could miss a turning. Hi, she bees. Do you want to get in a nice easy gear now, Nat? Yeah. Easy, easy, easy. Right, this is Julian that we said about yeah, earlier. You've uh, yeah. now look. This is the book. <laughs> Famous author. Yeah, there he is. Look. Yeah. Very much younger than What's he that, used to be. Ten years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About yeah. five. <laughs> Where's your mallet? Where's your mallet? Timmy mallet always has his mallet. <laughs> right, this is Julian that we said about yeah, earlier. You've uh, yeah, now look. This is the book. <laughs> Famous author. <laughs> That's a, a skep of bees. Look, that was my bonnet, but it's no, no. Okay. So what's it? What's it about then? It's about life. It's about uh, travels. It's about beekeeping in Africa beekeeping here and a spiritual path all the way through to um there's my father look very holy man look that's me there look before i at my first appearance in church i was being looked after like that and i wandered off about half a mile into church while the service was on and right up the front i looked up in the pulpit and he wasn't there <laughs> you're gonna have to re recreate that photo that's what they do isn't it yeah I Get, an, That'd get, be brilliant, wouldn't it? get a get a paddling pool. Yeah, and then I turned out like that. Look. Yeah. Oh, uh, you've heard, you've seen that. Yeah. One. Well, you've told us many stories. Oh, that I've one, so. told you many. And stories. where can they, they uh, what email you for a copy? Yes, absolutely. And it's ten pound minimum. Ten pound minimum here. Yes. Yeah. We and all the money goes to uh, Ifakara to the uh, school for mentally handicapped kids. Not even taking a little bit for yourself. Never, never, never. <laughs> no, no, so, no. So all for charity. And I've read a couple of paragraphs and <laughs> chuckled. I mean, so, all? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah well, Nat's been. Looking at all the photos so i'm getting stuck into it tomorrow night so full review coming soon yeah a full review yeah absolutely email below we'll get all the details looking at it. I no, yeah i can imagine it. <laughs> it's like me on youtube yeah. <laughs> it's uh, hypnotic anyway there we are bless you bye julian thanks a lot oh right oh that one was gay What you do is get a little bit of momentum. Oh. That was good. <laughs> yeah, he's allegedly looking at the book. <laughs> good sort of looking at it. He's got all the uh, info on. Oh. <laughs>
Very clean. Huh?
Danny, trading it. Right, well, that was nice to see Julian. So we're on the way back now. Ed has just certainly hasn't just sent me a message. He's tagged me on Twitter, Twitter, which I don't really use that much, um, to say that he is premiering his video for 500k in 40 minutes. So we're on a rush to get back, cook some dinner, and watch that. Yeah. like what we've done tonight, just another 23 hours. <laughs> you up for it? <laughs> yeah, hard eight and a half. Here she goes, elbows out. Just wait for Bullet to go past there, eh? My impression of bullet. You all right? Nearly crashed. There's a pair of tights in the road and that thought was a snake. <laughs> what I like, she doesn't change, uh, change any power or effort. She just dips her elbows. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Feels like to be me. <laughs> Who's this? Edwin? What a night. Lovely.
I know how hard you put in an effort there to get through the green light. What's in your saddlebag? My jacket. Oh, that's a good point. I haven't bought any saddle and um, punch repair kit. That'd have been good, wouldn't it? Oh, have I? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I ain't got, I ain't got anything to pump out with. Come on now, we've got to cut it short. Ed's got premiere coming up at eight. Come on. Bloody hell, Ed. Eight o'clock? Come on, Nat. We've got to cut this short. It's got a premiere. <laughs>
So it's the fourth day in the trot, is it? Yeah. Rest day tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but still. Go on, Nat, you can do it. Go on, a bit of speed. Look ahead. Yeah. <laughs> right here! Oh, I don't know, I'm very proud of you. Did you see the. <laughs> no, I didn't see your sticking in I saw the. That's <laughs> after you threw it almost. <laughs> Yeah, that was a bad part, wasn't it? 